Hey guys, how y'all doing? Welcome to the Waterfall Quest Guide for Level 3s and how to never die while doing it. So there's absolutely no requirements for this quest, but you are going to need 6 air runes, 6 earth runes, 6 water runes, and a rope. Uh, I suggest you bring a games neck, a uh, ring of duelings, some stamina potions, and you definitely want some food. Also, if you have 15 hit points, it's going to be a huge advantage because the moss giant's max of 14. Uh, but if you don't, it's fine. I'll show you how to do it without that. So start off here in Barbarian Outpost. And you're going to end up wanting to walk down here to that quest spot right there in Backstory and Vols. Once you get here, talk to Almera. Say, how can I help? And your quest will start. So once your quest has started, walk out here uh, to the west. And you'll see a raft. Go ahead and click on the raft. Once you board the raft, you'll end up crashing right here, and you'll see Hooden, the kid, uh, talk to him. He'll start talking about some waterfall treasure. You'll ask to help, you'll say he's fine alone, and that's fine. Now walk over here and click on the edge, and just hit swim on the river, and you'll start swimming down the waterfall. You'll end up down at the very bottom of the waterfall over by some fishing spots uh, on the map. It's uh, right around here. Now, once you uh, fall in, just walk a little bit northwest into this big house looking thing. Um, but yeah, make your way over to this house. Open the door, go on inside, and climb up the staircase. Click on the middle bookcase right here on the eastern wall, and you will get a book. If it's not in that bookcase, search the other ones. But it should be in that bookcase. Once you have the book on Backstorian, open it and make sure you flip through all the pages. You don't actually have to read it, but you do need to make the game think that you read it. So, Once you've had the book and you've opened it up and everything, uh, go back downstairs and talk to Hadley. Now run through every option with Hadley. Say, can you tell what happened to the Elf King? Now say, uh, is there any treasure under the waterfall? And then say, is there anything worth visiting around here? Now it's all said and done, just say thanks and then goodbye. Alright, this next part of your quest, I would say just minigame teleport to uh, Clan Wars, or not Clan Wars, I'm sorry, Castle Wars, but you're going to need to go to Tree Gnome Village. So if you have a dueling ring, now would be the time to use it. Um, but before you go here, make sure you have some food. You're going to need to tank some stuff if you're a low level. Uh, I have some trout with me, but uh, yeah, make sure you get a, get a few pieces of food if you're a low level. If you're not a low level, you don't have to worry about it. It's just like some hop goblins and some hill giants, but for people with 10 hit points uh, and, you know, pretty much fresh level 3s, uh, you're going to want some food. Anyway, this is where we're going to be starting. Uh, that's the route you'll be taking. And you guys can just follow me and I'll, I'll show you the route. Alternatively, if you've finished um, or gotten partial through the uh, the Tree Gnome Village quest, you can right-click and hit follow on that gnome out there. And he will lead you to the entrance and then you can like backtrack. But assuming you don't have that done because you're a new account, I'm going to walk through it anyway. The only thing on the maze that could hit you is the hill giants that are right here. And they, I think they max like a 4. They might max a 5, but I'm going to assume they max a 4. Uh, so just, you know, keep your hit points up a little bit. It's trout, so you know. I would pretty much say keep your health above 7 at all times. Maybe even keep it above 8. Anyway. Once you get to this ladder right here, go ahead and walk down the ladder. Climb down it even. Alright, here you go. Now, there's going to be an odd uh, coloring box in this room towards the east. Go ahead and click on that box and you'll end up looting a key. Make sure you don't get comboed out by the bats, though. Once you have your key, fantastic. Make your way to the west side of this area. I'm going to turn off my run so I can like flick it a little bit and only take a little bit of damage from the hobgoblins since I didn't bring any stamina potions. Uh, you can do that as well if you don't have stamina potions. Because when you're level 3, these things kind of hit a little bit. Anyway, once you have your key and take the west path all the way north, you'll see this door. It's locked. Use the key on it. And open it up. Now talk to Glory. Glory. 
after you talk to him, you'll look around, you'll find this old pebble. And there you go, boom, you got it. Now what I would do if I were you guys, I would drop this pebble and then talk to him again and get a second one. This is just so if anything happens in the future and you want to get back to the waterfall area, you have two. I like having two of everything. Um, but yeah, I would just, all you have to do is talk to him again after you drop the pebble and you'll automatically find a second one. And then you can uh, pick the other pebble back up off the ground. Like I said, this is not necessary, but I would do it anyway. You never know what the future might hold, right? So once you have this, you're pretty much good to go back to uh, the Barbarian Outpost. I have my games, I have my games deck with me, so I'm just going to go and teleport to Barbarian Assault. And I'm going to walk south. We're going to be going to Galeriel's Tomb. Now there are Moss Giants in here, guys, and they can hit for, uh, I want to say 14. I think they max a 14 and they hit with this melee attack that deals magic damage. So um, if you don't have 14 health, you could get comboed out in one hit. So uh, anyway, this is the place that you need to be. Use your pebble on the tombstone. It will not let you in if you have any kind of weapons, armor, runes, or anything. So come here relatively with, with no runes or anything to attack with. All right, once you're down here, you see the monster right there. This is um, this is single combat, so we're going to abuse the fact that it's single combat here to not take any damage from the monster giant, uh, because what's down here are skeletons and zombies, and the skeletons and zombies we can tank. We can't tank the monster giant, though. So whenever you get too close to the monster giant, just attack a skeleton or a zombie and take some hits, and then just walk with it. You'll see me do this here in a second. Anyway, you go, you're going to want to want to... Blah, blah, blah. You're going to want to start on the southern end of this area, uh, there are two chests in this area, or I'm sorry, a chest and a tomb, um, but you want to go south here, and once you're south in here, make sure that moss giant does not attack you. So I'm looking around right now to figure out what I can grab aggro on, and aggro means aggression, um, but looking to see what I can grab aggression on, and I'm going to choose the skeleton right here. Like I said, I can tank the skeleton, but I don't want to take a hit from the moss giant because it's too likely for him to one hit me, and I don't want that to happen. So I kick the skeleton, and he's going to attack me. And he can probably max a 4, so I'm just going to let him keep hitting me a 4, and I'm going to keep safing the whole time. And once I walk past the moss giant, I'm going to sprint and get away from him, and walk behind here where the moss giant cannot get me. I'm going to search the glare, or I'm going to search the tomb right here, and I'll get the urn. You only need one urn. Now attack the skeleton, make sure it hits you, and once it hits you, then you can run back. You have a few seconds after it hits you that the game thinks you're still in combat, and the moss giant will not attack you. Alright, now we need to go over to the west side. We're going to do the exact same method. We're going to attack a, a zombie, get the zombie aggroed on us, and then we're just going to let it hit us. We're going to tank the zombie because we can for sure tank the zombie. And as we do that, we're going to walk past the moss giant. See, just like that. Okay, you need to open up this chest. Now, he's behind the, the chest for me, so I got kind of lucky. I'm just going to go and open it. Um, and the skeleton's going to attack me, which is good. That means I'm tanking it now. Um, right here, you get the... Uh, the pendant. I highly recommend you guys get two. Although I did not get two in this video, I highly recommend you guys get two. Anyway, have this uh, skeleton just continue attacking you, and uh, I would run away after one of the hits. That way you have the most time to still be considered an aggro with it. But overall, it's pretty simple. Just make sure you're constantly taking hits from the skeletons, and that way the moss giant cannot attack you. Once you have your amulets and your urn, you're good to go. Like I said, I would get two amulets if I were you. I didn't for this video because this is a throwaway account just to make this guide. Uh, anyway, now let's go get the rope. You can buy ropes um, in Artie. You can buy them here in Draenor. Um, but we're going to go do the last part now. Make sure you go and get your six earth runes, your six water runes, and your six air runes for this next part. Um, you're going to want one rope. I got two because, like I said, I like getting two of everything. Um, and make sure you have some food as well. The coins are not necessary. I just happen to have them with me. And uh, make sure you keep your book on backstory with you the entire time throughout this quest. So walk back to the waterfall quest area. And walk out to the backyard. And click on the raft again. No crash, as usual. Now walk down to the end. Instead of swimming this time, use your rope on the rock that's all the way down there. See that rock right there? Use your rope on it. And you'll lasso it, and you'll pull yourself to it. And you'll pop up on this uh, little island right here. Now use your rope on the tree right here. And by using your rope on that tree, you'll drop down to the sledge. You can use the barrel to go down, but we're not going to go down. Instead, we're going to put on the, the Glarial's amulet and go through. If you do not wear the amulet, you will not be able to enter this. 
So make sure you have your amulet on, otherwise you're going to end up getting kicked off the, uh, the waterfall. So, once you get in here guys, run towards the east, go through these doors. Nothing in here can one hit you, except for the fire giants, and the fire giants aren't in this room. Anyway, walk to the, uh, or search this box that's right here. The double box, and you'll get a key. Once you have your key, make your way over to the west. Alright, this is the tricky part. There's a couple things you can grab aggro here, but it's basically the exact same thing. Fire Giants can max an 11 or a 12. Either way, it's more than a 10, right? So if we have 10 health, we have a chance of getting one hit, and we don't want that to happen. You can either take aggro from the Shadow Spider, or you can take aggro from a rat in here. Um, I wasn't ballsy enough to go in and get the rat because it was a little too close to the Hill Giant, or not the Hill Giant, but the Fire Giant. Um, but the uh, the Shadow Spiders, I believe, max at 5. So if you get hit once by them, you're going to have to eat. But like I said, trout's really cheap. Just fucking chow down and call it a day. So, um, for this part of the guide, I'm just kind of looking to see if I can aggro that rat. It's looking like I'm not going to be able to. Uh, it's just too risky with that fire giant right there. So I'm going to walk down here, and I'm just going to go ahead and aggro the shadow spider, and you're going to see it, like, beast me for a five. Yep, there comes the five. I got a shadow spider on me. Alright. Now turn off your run, so that way it's constantly hitting you. And just walk tile by tile so you don't lose aggro range from it. And then once you get just a little bit further out, as soon as it attacks you, then you run. That way you have the longest amount of time for um, nothing to be able to attack you because it's single combat. You have like three seconds or something. And boom, use your key on the door and you're in. Uh, so I hope that makes sense to you guys. If it doesn't, I can try to explain it in the comment section, but that's how you uh, manipulate uh, single combat zones to not end up getting one hit by the, uh, whatever they're called, the moss giants and the fire giants. Anyway, once you're in here guys, use all six water runes on the pedestal. On each pedestal. I guess they, they call them pillars, so yeah, use all six on the pillar. Now use all six air runes on the pillar as well. And then finally, use all six earth runes on the pillar. Alright guys, so once you put the last rune down, you're going to want to go ahead and take off your amulet and use Glarial's amulet on the statue of Glarial. You'll see right there. This is why you want to have two. That way you can come back in the waterfall area. Anyway, you'll end up putting it on her, and the floor will rise. Now, do not click on the chalice. Instead, use the urn on the chalice. And once you do, that'll be quest complete. Boom! 1 to level 30 strength and attack, 2 diamonds, 2 gold bars, 40 mithril seeds that you can plant for flowers, and access to train in here if you have a second uh, amulet. Anyways guys, that's the end of the video. Please leave a like and a comment, it really does help me out. Um, it gets me exposure and things like that, and also, uh, you know, let me know if this is useful. Otherwise though, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.